Today, Janet Mock and Laverne Cox fight the good fight. The White House pushes forward with some dangerous military maneuvers, and Jason Collins and Chris Mosier have some choice tweets for Texas. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday. I'm Allison Turner, and this is Daily Equality. So I'm not sure if y'all followed this, but Janet Mock recently went on The Breakfast Club, a nationally syndicated radio show to promote her new memoir. I haven't got the chance to read the book yet, but at what point did you start identifying as a woman? I think when I was like, maybe like six years old. I Which is like, really cool, right? But later, The Breakfast Club posted a video denigrating and devaluing the lives of black transgender women. So not cool, right? Well, Janet Mock penned a powerful piece in Allure in response. I am an accomplished, beautiful black trans woman. Your willful ignorance will not stop me from being exactly who I am. My sisters and I are here and we exist and you will not diminish our light and our brilliance. Ah. Beautifully put, Janet. Transgender actress and trailblazer Laverne Cox also tweeted this response. Some folks think it's okay to joke about wanting to kill us. We have free speech, but that speech has consequences, and trans folks are experiencing the negative consequences with our lives. Finally, J.R. Ford is the father of a six-year-old transgender daughter and a member of HRC's Parents for Transgender Equality Council. He responded in a blog post for HRC that you can read on our website. And he posted the world's most adorable photo. All right, y'all, it is happening. I know we were all hoping that the White House was so disorganized that they wouldn't follow through on Trump's anti-transgender tweets. But The Hill reports that the Pentagon has been instructed to draft guidance barring transgender people from serving in the armed forces. President Trump's tweets said that he would reinstate a ban on qualified transgender people serving in the military, which was met by wide bipartisan opposition. Because let's face it, this is a reprehensible way to treat those who sacrifice by taking up arms for our country. A powerful new video follows transgender volleyball player Chloe Anderson, who plays on the women's team at the University of California, Santa Cruz. Last year, the International Olympic Committee moved to allow transgender athletes to compete without requiring gender affirmation surgery. So that's Chloe's graduation picture. I haven't seen that very often. No. Chloe, you know, through middle school and stuff, super athletic and everything, which was great. But Chloe barely made it through high school. I mean, seriously, by the skin of her teeth. Watch the full video at the Olympic Channel. And speaking of sports, athletes around the country are voicing their opposition to the anti-transgender bill SB3, which has passed in the Texas Senate. Check out these tweets by Jason Collins, Megan Rapino, Chris Mosier, and Martina Navratilova. The hateful measure is now in the Texas House, and these athletes are speaking out against the bill, which would discriminate against transgender people, including athletes. For more tips on LGBTQ news, subscribe to Daily Equality at our YouTube channel and sign up for AM Equality at hrc.im slash amsubscribe. Thanks, y'all.